So Matt, we're at Down Syndrome of Louisville. Um, this has been a big project for you guys. We got called in with you guys because they were having comfort complaints. What was going on? Yeah, it was a combination. Energy bills, this building was just basically bleeding energy. It was just... So when we got out here, the first thing that I noticed is there was really no effective insulation in the attic. I mean, there was insulation up there, yeah. but what I saw is you have a drop ceiling and then you have ductwork above the drop ceiling. And then above that, they had a layer of unfaced fiberglass insulation, maybe like an R19 or something. It was pretty low. It was there. Yeah. And so the air from the building is just leaking out through the drop ceiling. It's not a pressure boundary. It's going straight through that fiberglass insulation because it's not an air barrier. So the solution was what? We came in and extracted everything. It was multi, multiple days, multiple crews. We sucked it all out. We had dumpsters lined up. We went through probably six or eight dumpsters, 40 yard dumpsters. Wow. So multiple days of spray foam. And how much foam do we put on the roof? Six inch nominal. We tend to spray a little bit heavier, my guys do. So we came in right before you guys started extracting exactly. and did a, um, a blower door test before any work was done to see how bad this place was. And at that point in time, we had three blower doors set up and we were not able to get even a five pascal pressure difference between yeah. indoors and outdoors. And we're trying to get a 50 pascal pressure difference. So the fact that the drop ceiling was just um, allowing all the air to leak out, it was really impossible yeah. to, to depressurize. Foam's done, putting on the thermal barrier. We came back to do the, the follow-up blower door test and we're at about 7,000 CFM of air leakage at a 50 pascal pressure difference, which I was able to obtain. Two blower doors yeah. is what I was able to use to get to that. So what we we're estimating 10 times tighter than it was originally. So it should make a huge difference in the comfort of this uh, building. Air quality. Air everything. quality, utility bills should oh, you know, it's got definitely it. drop. It's, it's really a testament of like, why they need you guys to begin with. If you're building a house or building a structure. And, and the sad thing is, you know, this was designed by an architect but the architect didn't understand thermal and pressure boundaries apparently because if they did there's no way they would have designed the insulation and the hvac system to be the way that it was when this building is constructed and it's not that old it's not that old at all um, but you guys are going to make a huge difference i can already feel a difference in this building just walking through it today yeah um but you know the hvac uh, will be something else they'll have to probably address because they'll probably have too many HVAC systems now. Okay. They could probably turn off some of the HVAC systems that they were using in the past, yeah. um, just because the temperature throughout the building is gonna be more even, uh, more comfortable from yeah. one side to another, so. It's exciting to be part of. I'm glad we had the opportunity to do it. Um, I asked the director, you know, kind of how he found me. And he said that we did his house uh, for a contractor that I work with quite often, you know, shows you the power of doing good work. Do and, good work, you get referrals. Uh, exactly, we've, we've really grown, but we've got some really good customers, really good contractors we work with. Yeah, and, uh, awesome man, well great project. I uh, appreciate you involving us on Oh yeah.